Okay, today we're going to take a look at our Master's Thrower Ed again here on the left. And uh, we're going to focus on only one thing today. And that is Ed's wondering why he's still landing with his heel down on the right here. See right here. And then turning on the heel. You see the toes are up. So if we break this down a little bit, what we see is as the right knee starts to turn in, that left foot should be coming off the ground. Let's take a look uh, at Alekna here. No, that's me, that's not Alekna. That's for a drill that uh, we're gonna talk about in a minute here. Let's see, right here. I've only got a few frames. Okay, this is from the 12 o'clock position. You can see his uh, right knee has not turned inward yet, and his left foot is still on the ground, the left toes. And then let's uh, go a couple of frames, or the next frame actually. You can see now the right knee turns inward, and he gets his heel vertical, the left heel, and he's up on the toe, and it's ready to come off the ground. So those that works together as the right knee and the right leg drives inward for the rotation, the left comes off. Okay. And uh, here's the next frame. I think I've got it. Yeah, right here. And you can see the left foot is totally off the ground now. And his right is uh, definitely turned into the middle. Let's look at this from the side. Okay. Okay, so right here, the right knee still has not turned inward. Left toes are on the ground. He's got a low left heel here. Let's go to the next frame. Okay, the foot's starting to come vertical. He hasn't rotated the uh, right knee in yet. That's going to be on the next frame. And there it is. As soon as that knee turns in, the foot turns in, starts hooking inward. The left foot goes vertical. Left knee drops in. So he's getting off the ground with the bent left knee. The uh, important thing here is to see that the knees are facing basically the same direction here. Okay, uh, so the first thing is as soon as that right knee turns in, left foot, the heel, the foot goes vertical, heel comes up, bent left knee, and the foot's off the ground right here. So he's got one frame in the air, both feet, and then he's on the ground. So he's on the ground very quickly. And then the other thing was the knees. We want to try to keep those facing the same direction. That's what keeps the uh, left foot from falling behind. Okay, see right here the knees are facing this way. Let's go to the next frame. And the right foot's almost down. Left knee's a little behind, but that's going to happen because the right knee's turning and it's it's bent, so it's it's coming through a little faster. Where the left is long the horizontal shin here, so it's going to be a little bit slower. But you can see the, the knees are almost facing the same direction. And then let's see when the uh, right foot lands right here. Now you can see the knees are almost facing both 3 o'clock. And that's the only way you're going to keep those that the left foot from coming too late is to keep the knees together or pointing the same direction. And you can see here they're both facing this way now. Now for the Ed here on the left, Right knee's already turned in, but uh, so this left foot should be vertical. Left knee should be down. We can see he's um, late in getting the left foot off. You can see the right leg is really rotated here. So he doesn't really get in the air. As soon as the right toes touch down, the left foot is still way back here and the uh, is on the ground. So basically you're stepping through. But these are master's throwers, so you know, whatever you're capable of. Uh, if you can get into the air and uh, get get off that left faster, keep the knees turning, facing the same direction. You see how the uh, when this is long, the left leg, with not having the uh, the shin horizontal, it's it takes it a lot longer to go. Okay, if you can get that horizontal, it'll be shortened and it'll turn faster to the front. 
Right now the knees are basically facing the same direction, but you can see it took a while for it to catch up. See here their left knee's facing this way and the right knee, they're, they're kind of crossing each other. And that's what, uh, at this point right here, because you're not rotational, as soon as that right foot lands, it almost stops. You can keep an eye on it right here. You'll see that it doesn't really rotate. So now this left is dragging you across the circle linearly. You can see, and that causes you to drop back on the heel. The hip is still on top, so you're in a good position to rotate, but you've got to keep that heel up off the ground. And to do that, you got to stay rotational. So if you, if you keep this left leg bent, it's going to come around more rotational than it will just as a long limb from the uh, back to the front. Uh, let's watch Electna. You can see how it's bent now, the left leg, and you see how it how fast it turns. He's rotating. Let's see the right foot. He never stops. Lands and keeps turning. He keeps that heel up off the ground. So he's keeping the, uh, the hip on top. He's rotating. Because he got that left leg off faster, he stay, he's maintaining his rotation around rather than stopping the right foot and then just kind of dropping backwards. Okay, so that's the key part is uh, get off that left sooner, try to get both feet into the air. Think about the knees pointing the same direction as you rotate. And uh, that should help you keep that weight off of that heel keep it from dropping down by because you'd be rotating rather than just having your momentum go from back to front it'll be rotating around the center and there's a cup there's one drill I've got that might help you I call this a three-quarter wheel because it's not like a regular wheel or half turn you're starting with your foot the uh, the blue pad here that's uh, three o'clock and then to the right is going to be where we release the discus so that's going to be six o'clock so I think more than, I think this helps you more than a half turn. We're only going 180 degrees here. You're going three quarters, 270. And so you've got to be a lot more rotational. See how the right foot stays up on the toe, the heels up and see how the, the left, I'm trying to get the shin horizontal and rotate around and the right foot keeps moving. Okay. Just a couple of times. Repeat that. Then I put this one inch block here. To help keep the uh, hip on top of the foot and you see the heel everything moves together it's one piece the knees are staying together the whole lower body moves as one okay and watch the lechna here see how the knees will continue to point the same direction see how the uh, the feet everything moves as one the whole lower half moves together, rotates together. Let's take a look at it here. Okay, as he spins, everything rotates together. Okay, uh, hopefully you can work on that, Ed, and uh, hopefully it helps you out. Uh, let me know if you get another uh, video, and I'll take a look at it. Thanks.